In the world of entertainment, the actress Lily Palmer made a name for herself through her exceptional talent and dedication. Born in 1914 in Germany, she began her career on the stage before transitioning to film. Throughout her career, the actress appeared in over 60 films, showcasing her versatility and range. She starred in both German and English language films, and her performances were always met with critical acclaim. In 1954, the actress won the Best Actress Award at the Cannes Film Festival for her role in The Pink Shirt. She was also nominated for a Golden Globe for her performance in But Not For Me in 1959. The actress was not only a talented actress, but also a published author. She wrote several books, including her autobiography, Change Lobsters in Dance, which was published in 1975. Despite facing adversity and discrimination in the industry due to her German heritage, the actress persevered and became a trailblazer for European actresses in Hollywood. Her legacy continues to inspire and influence actors and filmmakers today. Starting with a bit of history, the actress we're discussing was a star of both the stage and screen. She had a career that spanned several decades, beginning in the 1930s. Her performances were known for their grace and depth, and she often played strong, independent women. Now, let's get interactive. Have you ever stumbled upon a fact about her that caught your attention, something not many people know? Or can you recall the very first time you saw her on screen? What was the film or show that made you sit up and take notice? We're also curious about your most treasured memory related to her. Maybe it's a particular movie that you watched with someone special or an interview of hers that left a lasting impression. We'd be thrilled to read about your stories and memories in the comments. And keep watching because we've got a lineup of facts about her that are sure to evoke a range of emotions. Some may make you laugh, others might shock you, and a few could even bring a tear to your eye. Stay tuned for more on this remarkable actress. Born in 1914 as Lily Palmer Shruskowski, the actress had early exposure to the world of performing arts. Her parents, Alfred Palmer and Rose Lisman, were both involved in the theater scene. Her father was a stage designer and her mother an actress. This upbringing sparked the actress's interest in the craft, leading her to take drama lessons from a young age. The actress's family moved to Berlin when she was 12, where she continued her drama studies and performed in local theaters. However, the rise of the Nazi regime forced her to flee Germany and move to England in 1933. In London, she studied at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art and appeared in several stage productions. During this time, the actress met and worked with various influential figures in the theater and film industries. One of her mentors was the renowned actor and director, Bezel Dean, who cast her in her first film role in Crime Unlimited. Dean recognized the actress's talent and potential providing her with valuable guidance and opportunities to develop her skills. Another key influence in the actress's career was her husband, actor Rex Harrison. They met in 1942 and married in 1943, collaborating on several films and stage productions. Harrison encouraged the actress to explore different aspects of her craft, including comedy and drama, which further enriched her repertoire. The actress's multicultural background and early exposure to various artistic influences shaped her unique perspective and approach to her work. Her ability to adapt to different styles and genres, as well as her commitment to her craft, earned her recognition and respect in the industry. The actress, known for her work in both German and English language films, began her career in the 1930s. She gained recognition in Germany for her role in the film Fruling Spirit. However, it was her performance in the British film, The Man I Killed, that brought her to international attention. In the 1940s, she continued to make a name for herself with notable performances in The Prime Minister and Cloak and Dagger. But it was her role as a French singer in the film, The Four Poster, that earned her a BAFTA nomination. Throughout the 1950s and 1960s, she worked in a variety of genres, including drama, comedy, and thriller. Some of her most memorable performances from this period include But Not For Me, The Pleasure of His Company, and The Counterfeit Trader. For those new to her work, The Man I Killed and The Four Poster are great starting points. Her performances in these films showcase her range and versatility as an actress. Additionally, But Not For Me and The Pleasure of His Company offer a glimpse into her comedic abilities. In summary, with a career spanning several decades and multiple languages, the actress left a lasting impact on the film industry. 
Her most notable works include The Man I Killed, The Four Poster, But Not For Me, and The Pleasure of His Company. These films are a must-watch for any fan of classic cinema. Ever since the actress was a young girl, she was drawn to the magic of the stage and screen. Raised in Germany, she was the daughter of a renowned theater critic and was exposed to the world of drama at a very early age. Her mother, a talented pianist, nurtured her creative side and encouraged her to explore her artistic interests. One pivotal moment in the actress's life came when she was just 16 years old. She was given the opportunity to appear in a small role in a local theater production. From the moment she stepped onto the stage, she knew that she had found her true calling. The thrill of bringing a character to life and connecting with an audience was like nothing she had ever experienced before. After finishing school, the actress pursued her passion for acting by studying at the prestigious Max Reinhardt Seminar in Vienna. It was there that she honed her craft and developed her unique style. She quickly gained a reputation as a talented and dedicated actress and soon began to land roles in films and on stage. Despite facing many challenges and obstacles throughout her career, the actress remained committed to her craft. She was known for her versatility and her ability to bring depth and complexity to every role she played. Her performances resonated with audiences around the world and she left a lasting mark on the world of film and theater. To this day, the actress's legacy continues to inspire and captivate new generations of performers and audiences alike. Her passion for the arts and her unwavering dedication to her craft serve as a testament to the power of creativity and the enduring appeal of the human spirit. After studying drama in Berlin, the actress Lily Palmer found herself flying to Paris in 1933 due to the Nazi takeover. Once there, she continued to hone her craft and pursue her passion for acting. One of the genres she became known for was espionage movies. In total, she starred in seven such films, including Cloak and Dagger, The Counterfeit Trader, Sebastian, The High Commissioner, Operation Crossbow, The Holcroft Covenant, and Secret Agent. One of these films, The High Commissioner, saw her playing the character of Sheila Quentin. It is worth noting that the actress took her surname from an English actress she admired. This decision highlights her appreciation for the art of acting and her desire to emulate those she respected in the field. Overall, Lily Palmer's career in espionage movies showcases her talent and versatility as an actress. Her ability to take on a variety of roles in this genre is a testament to her skill and dedication to her craft. The actress, born in 1914, faced significant challenges early in her career. Financial struggles were a constant obstacle with the future star often relying on the kindness of friends for shelter and support. Despite these hardships, she remained determined to succeed in the entertainment industry. Skepticism from industry professionals proved to be another hurdle. Despite her clear talent and potential, the actress faced repeated rejection and doubt from those in power. However, she refused to let this discourage her. Instead, she used it as motivation to work even harder and prove them wrong. The actress's resilience was truly remarkable. She found creative solutions to overcome the obstacles in her path. For example, she took on a wide variety of roles in smaller, lesser known productions in order to gain experience and build her reputation. She also continued to hone her craft, taking classes and workshops to improve her skills. Despite the many challenges she faced, the actress remained optimistic and determined. She knew that she had something special to offer and she was willing to do whatever it took to make her dreams a reality. Her perseverance and hard work ultimately paid off, as she went on to have a long and successful career in the film industry. Before becoming a successful actress, the subject was a junior table tennis champion of Europe. She was the second child of Dr. Alfred Peiser, a German Jewish surgeon, and Rose Lissman, an Austrian Jewish actress. She had two sisters, Irene and Hilda. Her acting career took off in Germany, where she appeared in numerous films during the 1930s. However, with the rise of the Nazi regime, she moved to Britain and later to the United States. In 1960, she was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 7013 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California. The actress's talent and hard work earned her recognition and success in the film industry. Her contributions to the world of entertainment will always be remembered. The enduring impact of her work continues to resonate with audiences today.
1932, the actress made her stage debut in her father's play The Rebel Son, marking the beginning of her career in the spotlight. However, it was her performance in the 1954 film, The Pink Panther, that truly solidified her status as a talented actress. Her comedic timing and charm brought depth to her character, earning her critical acclaim and recognition in the industry. Peer actress and friend Sophia Loren praised the actress's ability to seamlessly transition between different genres, stating Lily had a unique talent for making every role her own. She was a true chameleon on screen. In 1958, the actress took on a more serious role in the film The Counterfeit Traitor, which required her to learn and speak Swedish fluently. Her dedication and commitment to the role earned her further recognition and respect in the industry. Director George Seaton, who worked with the actress on The Counterfeit Trader, spoke highly of her talent and work ethic, stating Lily was a true professional. She brought a level of dedication and passion to every project she worked on, and it showed in her performances. Throughout her career, the actress continued to challenge herself with diverse roles and projects, earning her a total of three Golden Globe nominations and one win. Her impact on the industry and her contributions to the world of film and television continue to be celebrated and remembered today. After giving birth to her son Carrie Harrison in 1944 with Rex Harrison, the actress returned to Germany in 1954. There, she became one of the biggest post-war stars. Upon her return, she captivated audiences and gained a significant following. Eventually, she was interred at Forest Lawn, Glendale, California, USA, directly across the street from the Freedom Mausoleum. Her final resting place is a testament to her successful career and the impact she had on the film and television industry. The actress, known for her work in both German and English language films, had a unique approach to her craft. She was deeply committed to understanding her characters, often conducting extensive research and creating detailed backstories for them. This meticulous preparation allowed her to fully embody each role, creating nuanced and believable performances. Her artistic vision was also influenced by her personal experiences and worldview. Born in Prussia to Jewish parents, the actress spent her early childhood in Germany before fleeing to England with her family in 1934 to escape the rising tide of Nazism. These experiences shaped her perspective and informed her work, giving her a deep understanding of the human condition and the ability to portray complex emotions with authenticity. In her later career, the actress became known for her work in psychological thrillers and dramas, often playing characters on the margins of society. She was drawn to these roles because they allowed her to explore the darker aspects of human nature and to challenge audiences' perceptions of reality. Despite the serious nature of many of her films, the actress had a playful side as well. She was known for her love of comedy and often incorporated humor into her performances, adding a touch of levity to even the most intense scenes. Ultimately, the actress's unique style and approach to her work have left a lasting impact on the film industry. Her ability to bring complex characters to life and to explore the full range of human emotions has inspired generations of actors and continues to resonate with audiences today. After finding success in the film industry, the actress, known for her work in The High Commissioner, decided to purchase a 30-acre farm in Switzerland, located 3,000 feet above Lake Zurich. The farm provided a peaceful escape from the spotlight, where she could enjoy the tranquility of nature. In 1968, the actress starred in two films alongside Christopher Plummer, one of them being The High Commissioner. The other film was Oedipus the King, where they played Oedipus and Jock Astor, respectively. Their on-screen chemistry was undeniable, making their films a must-watch for any film enthusiast. The actress was also good friends with Laurence Olivier, a renowned actor and director. Their friendship was a testament to their shared passion for the arts and their mutual respect for each other's talents. It's always special when two talented individuals can come together and form a genuine connection, and their friendship was no exception. The actress, with her German roots, brought a unique perspective to the industry. She began her career on the stage, but soon transitioned to film, where she made a significant impact. Her work in both German and English language films allowed her to reach a wide audience and influence many. In the 1950s, the actress starred in a series of successful films, including The Four Poster and But Not So Fast, My Lady. Her performances were praised for their depth 
and emotional resonance. Critics and audiences alike were captivated by her ability to bring complex characters to life. The actress was also known for her versatility. She could play a wide range of roles, from comedic to dramatic, and was equally convincing in each. This versatility allowed her to influence trends in storytelling and techniques used in the industry. Industry experts and those the actress inspired have commented on her contribution to the industry. Director John Huston, who directed her in Beat the Devil, said of her, She had a rare combination of beauty, brains, and talent. Actress and director Greta Skakai, who was inspired by the actor, said, She was a trailblazer, proving that German actors could succeed in Hollywood. The actress's influence can still be seen today. Her work continues to inspire new generations of actors and filmmakers. Her ability to bring depth and complexity to her characters, as well as her versatility, remains an inspiration to many. In conclusion, the actress's contribution to the film industry cannot be overstated. Her work as an actress, as well as her influence on trend and techniques, has left a lasting impact on the industry. Her ability to captivate audiences and inspire fellow actors and filmmakers ensures that her legacy will continue to resonate for years to come. During the filming of Fireworks in 1954, the actress, who had been away from Germany for over two decades, faced some challenges with the German language. She would often forget the correct terms for certain words, such as wig and cameraman, and would unintentionally start speaking in English. In addition to her acting career, the actress was also a writer. She penned a novel titled Night Music in 1983 and an autobiography called Change Lobsters and Dance. These works provided a glimpse into her life and thoughts beyond her on-screen roles. Unfortunately, in the film Murders in the Rue Morgue, nearly all of the actress's role was removed during post-production. This loss of screen time was a disappointment for both the actress and her fans. Despite this setback, the actress continued to work on various projects, showcasing her talent and dedication to her craft. The actress Lily Palmer was known for her love of animals and often used her platform to raise awareness for their welfare. She had many pets throughout her life and was a vocal advocate for animal rights. In addition to her acting career, she wrote several books about animals and donated a significant portion of the proceeds to various animal charities. Palmer was also passionate about education and supported several organizations that promoted literacy and access to education for children. She believed that everyone should have the opportunity to learn and grow, and she worked tirelessly to make this a reality for many young people. Furthermore, Palmer was a strong supporter of the arts and often used her influence to promote up-and-coming artists and musicians. She believed that the arts were essential to a well-rounded society and that everyone should have access to them. Despite her busy career, Palmer always made time for the things that mattered most to her. She was a kind and compassionate person who truly cared about making the world a better place. Her personal values and interests were always reflected in her work, and she will always be remembered for her dedication to animals, education, and the arts. The actress was also known for her writing skills. She penned her autobiography, Change Lobsters and Dance, in 1976, which received much acclaim. Her novel, The Red Raven, published in 1978, centered around a European love triangle and was met with rave reviews. In 1955, the actress shared the Broadway stage with her husband, Rex Harrison, for the production of Bell Book and Candle. On January 27, 1986, the actress passed away, just three months shy of what would have been her 72nd birthday on May 24. The actress Lily Palmer left an indelible mark on the film industry with her diverse roles and undeniable talent. Throughout her career, she graced both the stage and the screen, captivating audiences with her emotive performances. Born in 1914, Palmer began her acting journey in the 1930s, and her legacy continues to resonate today. Her ability to embody a wide range of characters, from dramatic leads to comedic roles, showcased her versatility and adaptability. Palmer's work in films like The Man I Killed and But Not For Me demonstrated her talent for tackling complex and intriguing stories. Moreover, her performances in The Baroness and The Butler and The Four Poster highlighted her comedic prowess. Palmer's contributions extended beyond acting as she was also a skilled writer and painter. Her autobiography, Change Lobsters and Dance, provided a fascinating glimpse into her life and experiences in the entertainment industry. 
for aspiring professionals in the field. Palmer offers invaluable advice, always be true to yourself and never stop learning. She believed that staying curious and open to new experiences was essential for growth and success. Palmer also emphasized the importance of resilience and determination, stating, you will face rejection and hardship, but it's how you respond that defines your career. As for her future contributions, Palmer would likely encourage aspiring actors to embrace the ever-evolving landscape of the entertainment industry. She would likely advocate for exploring new mediums, such as streaming services and digital content, while remaining grounded in the foundational skills of acting. Ultimately, Palmer's legacy serves as a testament to the power of hard work, dedication, and artistic versatility. Her impact on the film industry continues to inspire and influence generations of actors, reminding us all of the importance of staying true to ourselves and pursuing our passions with unwavering determination. In the early 1950s, the actress shared the Broadway stage with her first husband, Rex Harrison, in Bell, Book, and Candle. She had to be cautious around the cat playing the magical feline Puacket, as it despised her, resulting in scratches if she wasn't careful. Sometime later, she found herself at Tyrone Powers House on May 19, 1946. An unfortunate accident occurred when Primula Niven, David Niven's wife, fell down a staircase, leading to injuries that eventually caused her death. The actress had a sibling, Irene Prater, who was also a character actress and singer. Despite the differences in their careers, the bond between them remained strong. Throughout her life, the actress navigated the ups and downs of her career and personal life with grace and determination. Her experiences, both on and off the stage, shaped her into the remarkable figure she became. Born in 1914, the actress began her journey in the entertainment industry with a passion for storytelling. She started on the stage, captivating audiences with her powerful performances. In the late 1930s, she transitioned to film, where she continued to make an impact. Throughout her career, the actress was known for her innovative approach to her roles. She brought a unique perspective to each character she played, making them relatable and memorable. Despite facing challenges and setbacks, she persevered, always pushing herself to do better. The actress's work transcended generations and resonated with audiences around the world. She starred in a variety of films and shows showcasing her versatility and range as an actress. Her performances were not just entertaining, but also thought-provoking and impactful. Even today, the actress's legacy continues to inspire and influence new generations of performers. Her passion, creativity, and perseverance serve as a reminder of the power of art and storytelling. Through her work, she left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, proving that with hard work and dedication, anything is possible. The actress's personal life was marked by a tragic loss. She was married three times, with her second marriage to actor Rex Harrison being the most well-known. However, their union was far from happy. Harrison had an affair with actress Carol Landis, which led to her suicide. The actress had to endure the aftermath of the scandal, and her marriage to Harrison ended in divorce in 1957. This experience was no doubt a difficult and emotional one for the actress, and it is a sad footnote in her personal life. After watching the actress's impressive performances, you might have realized that she was a force to be reckoned with in the film industry. With a career that spanned over four decades, she left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. The actress was known for her versatility and ability to portray complex characters with ease. From her early roles in German films to her later work in Hollywood, she captivated audiences with her talent. One of the actress's most memorable performances was in The Big Gamble, where she showcased her ability to play a strong and determined woman. In But Not For Me, she demonstrated her comedic prowess, leaving audiences in stitches. Her work in television was equally impressive. In The Baron, she played a leading role that resonated with viewers. Her performances in The Human Jungle and The Vice were also noteworthy. The actress's legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors and actresses today. Her work serves as a testament to the power of perseverance and hard work. As you reflect on the actress's career, we invite you to share your thoughts on her work and legacy in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this content, please like and share it with your friend and family. Don't forget to subscribe for more exciting content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment.